Joining us with more analysis is Star Parker, the president of CURE, the Center for Urban Renewal and Education, which addresses culture and race issues from a Judeo-Christian perspective. Star, give me your reaction to President Trump's statement following the attack itself. Should he have called out white supremacists specifically? I think the president was point on when he called out both sides. Uh, we've had the alt-left instigating the alt-right, the alt-right instigating the alt-left uh, for quite some time. So I think that it is to, uh, absolutely uh, uh, the right messaging from the president's office to make sure that we as a society move forward. This election was not about the Confederacy, but it also was not about big government. This election was about moving our nation to its founding principles. And a lot of voters uh, came out to make sure that we had an administration here in Washington, D.C. that is going to move our country forward. But yes, I think that those comments from the president, the first set of comments, were exactly right. When you think in context of where he is applying uh, those comments, we've had many, many instances where the lefts are being totally disruptive to any and everything uh, from college campuses to if somebody decides that they don't have the right point of view according to the left when it comes to marriage or, in, or abortion. So yes, there are both sides. Well, noting some of the tensions from Saturday, some say the president is not sensitive to the needs of African Americans, especially in inner cities. But you and a group of black pastors dispute that and talk about that today. Tell me why. Why is because the president is not only during his campaign said that he wanted to fix the inner city. So there again, the, uh, the left is lying on the president. He said it there. Two million African Americans actually voted for him. Eight percent of the population in the African American voter population. Uh, and although the majority of blacks did not vote for the president, he said again in his inaugural that he really wants to fix what is broken down in these inner cities. So, Star, aside from the federal government role and the role of the federal government, then what more do you think needs to be done to heal the racial divides in this country, noting all the violence that we saw on Saturday? We need to limit the size and scope of government. The problem that we're having in our society today is we're in a cultural war. And the reason we're in that cultural war is because the government's too big. And it, so it's forcing the public square into real conflict. We are legislating in every single area of everybody's lives, and so people are tired of it. Star Parker, the president of CURE, thanks so much for talking with us in your analysis. You're